residents in one city in the Hills neighborhood are left frustrated after city council members voted in favor of a controversial land swap deal. 23ABC's Leslie Marine live from City in the Hills with why this deal means no to a new neighborhood park. Leslie? Well, good morning, Mike and Aaron. Years ago, developers had promised residents in this neighborhood that this dirt lot behind me would eventually become a park. But yesterday's city council vote means that this lot will now be turned into residential homes while the park will be moved to expand the Mesa Marin Sports Complex. Person. Unanimously voting 6 to 0, city council members went against residents last night. My hope is that as time passes and the positive effects of this transaction begin to come to fruition, your community and your lives will be improved. A controversial vote after residents in the City of the Hills neighborhood were promised an 11 acre park. The plans changed after developers went bankrupt and the city had to take over. But I firmly believe any betrayal that happened, it happened long before this meeting. Under the land swap deal, 53 homes will be built near the City of the Hills and Garden Park Drive intersection. At one time, while a new park will be placed at the Mesa Marin Sports Complex. I, I don't know that there's much more we can do until they actually bring forth the track and start to try to develop it. A new expansion at the Mesa Marin Sports Complex could include a dog park, spray park, and even a skate park. But residents say it's still too far away from the promises they were made. The 178 will be a six lane freeway that you're asking children to be crossing over. Well, the city has recently put a $1.7 million park about only half a mile west from where we're standing. That's after the original developer left that park unfinished. Back to you guys.